Hey guys, how you doing today? It's TSC, Traditional Shave Evangelist, coming to you with a re-evaluation of a soap. This is Huntley uh, Super Smooth, which is Wickham soap. Now, this is sold by Bulga Shaving and Lee's Razors. Now, I tried this soap uh, some time back, and quite frankly, I was underwhelmed. I felt for $18.99 for the small container of 90 grams, it didn't have a lot of scent, and, and I like a good bit of scent in my soaps. The performance I thought was good, but based on the price, I was underwhelmed. Just to give you an idea of how small this container is, here's a little sample jar, and you can see how that fits there. Now, uh, Phil from Bull Goose Shaving reduced the price of this to $11.99 because the containers were so small, and it's really difficult to load. Um, if you buy this soap from Bull Goose for $11.99, you're gonna have to put it in a container like one of these uh, Gladware containers uh, to load it. <clears throat> um, I had some conversations uh, with Evan Parr, whose name is Richard from The Shave Nook, and he has really good taste uh, in shaving soaps. And he's told me a number of times, this is one of my favorite soaps, uh, Huntley or uh, Wickham. And so I said, well, let me give it another shot. He's a guy that I really respect, I really like. And I said, if he likes it that much, it deserves uh, another shot. So yesterday I used South Sea Spray, and today uh, this one is uh, English Lavender, which I used this morning. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, lather it for you so you can get a look at it. The question is, will my mind be changed on Huntley or Wickham soaps? Well, let's lather it, and then we'll answer those questions. Give me just a second while I wet my face. All right, so we have a little residue left in this jar, um, so I'm going to try to lather or load from that. Really small, as you can see, the brush. This is a small uh, travel black fiber brush. Mula, and it almost covers the entire um, jar here. But let's see how it lathers. And I can answer the question before I go too far into it. It lathers wonderfully. And I really don't have a lot of soap in here because I was just loading it from the residue that I couldn't pull out of uh, the small can there. But as you'll see in the moment, it will provide for a very nice lather. Now the scent on this one is English Lavender. This is a different type of lavender scent. It's not like Martin de Candre. It's not like Cold River. This is a spicier uh, lavender. It's different from any, any lavender that I have experienced. And if you're a lavender fan and you're looking for a different take on lavender, this is probably a good one to try. And as you can see here, We've worked up a pretty thick lather. I need to add some water, excuse me. Let's add a little water there to the party. And the lavender, or excuse me, the, the lather, lavender, lather. Easy for you to say, huh? The lavender, live shooting, that's what you get from me. No editing, not professional, that's what I am, regular guy. But this is beautiful lavender leather look at that really thick and i'm just using residue that was left in the jar uh, really nice of course very slick and i have to tell you after using this this morning my face felt gr very very good post shave so i'm very happy with that let's do our jamming gi james impression of leather fondling great cushion this has a lot more cushion uh, then the German soap that I tried yesterday, very, very slick. I like what I'm feeling here. A little no sound, squishy sound, very slick between my fingers. Uh, in terms of soap quality, that was really never an issue for me with uh, Huntley. Great, great quality, great, great post shave, easy to lather, um, wonderful, wonderful. Let me stop the camera now and I'll get back to you with my final thoughts and let you know if I changed my mind on this Huntley or Wickham soap. Stand by. All right, guys, so we're back. We've rinsed the Huntley English lavender from my face. It feels very nice. So what's the verdict? Did Evan Parr convince me that Wickham or uh, Huntley is indeed a great quality soap? No, Evan Parr didn't convince me, but the soap did. Uh, after further evaluation, using two more of these soaps, uh, I've come to the conclusion that this is indeed a soap that 
I like. I particularly like the scent of the South Sea Spray. Now, a couple of things. It's a little bit pricey because it's coming from overseas and you're going to expect that. But the quality of the soap, no question about it. The soap is of great, great quality. I'd like to see more um, strength of scent, um, especially in the spice trade, which was the one that I tried. However, the quality of soap, there's no question about it. It's top level. It's easy to lather. Uh, it's a very soft and sticky soap, so you might have to uh, work with your loading on that. But this is indeed a top quality soap. Uh, thank you, Evan Parr, Richard, for uh, convincing me to give this another look. It also teaches me a lesson to have an open mind when it comes to these soaps. I'm always in search of great software. And so when I did my initial uh, thoughts on uh, Huntley, with the price being $18.99 and the lack of scent, it just wasn't for me. But now, at the $11.99 mark, having tried two other ones, uh, the scents on these two were better than the first. So I have to say, we're now at a thumbs up for Huntley or Wickham soap. So I'm glad to have uh, been convinced by the soap, but at the behest of uh, Evan Parr from The Shave Nook. And guys, by the way, if you haven't joined The Shave Nook, I encourage you to do so. Check them out. Nothing but uh, great people there. Um, it's well worth checking out. Now, on to our featured wet shaver channel. Today, I'm featuring, featuring, excuse me, Paul Ball. I can't speak today, so you're going to have to forgive me, guys. I'm having a rough one. The Huntley has really taken it out of me with its excellence. All right, Paul Bombino. Paul Bombino is a great guy. He sticks to shaving. It's one of the things I really respect about him. He doesn't get in the group to group drama. Uh, he's not worried about this or that. He just talks shaving. And I really like that because I'm a big lover of shaving myself. I really love Paul Bombino's videos. Uh, he has a depth of knowledge on brushes that's um, quite deep. He has really knowledge in everything. He tries about everything. He's a great guy all around. So I'm going to link his channel below. I'm going to add it to my featured channels to the right. And I really would encourage you to subscribe to Paul uh, and give his videos a watch. They are well worth, worth watching, and he is definitely a respected wet shaver. So go see Paul, and as always, you guys have a great day and a great shave.